Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Friday and I'm excited for the weekend. It is Mother's Day weekend. Happy Mother's Day weekend to all you moms out there. I hope you spend the entire weekend doing exactly what you want. Today, in keeping with yesterday's video, we are gonna do something new to help Sophie with fitness. I mean, heck, to help us all with our fitness. We are going for a bike ride instead of a jog. I, oops. I love running is my favorite thing on earth. Well, not my favorite thing. I really like ice cream. Ice cream is so much better than jogging. <laughs> Somebody commented in the comments and said, hey, you should let Sophia ride a bike. And I was like, oh, why shouldn't we do that? That would be amazing. Although I have to admit, I do feel a little bad for our horses. Like we should be riding them. But sometimes you have to say no to the horses and yes to you. Sam is contacting somebody today about our poop pile and see how much it will cost him to get rid of it. He is contacting the guy that did our hay last year and I did not like that guy. I don't agree with it, but sometimes you just gotta let your husband do what he wants to do. Love your little bike. Um, how's this gonna work with Head my helmet? Oh yeah. I don't really need headphones. All right, let's put the headphones away because we need helmets. Grabbing Molly. All right. <laughs> The puppy has gotten smarter. So that's her couch. This is where she sleeps. You might think it's because she's scared, but she's not. She's like enjoying life. Oh, did she? Yeah, she's she, she no, she's going to bed. Look at her. Get some treats. Ruby, I mean Molly. Where is she? Molly. Molly, Molly, come. Molly, come. Move your hand. Come Molly, on. come. Come on, sweet princess. She saw Ruby go in her crate, and now she doesn't want to go. This is the first time she's ever done this. Usually she comes running when we call her. But Gabby will get her out, I'm sure of it. This is actually the worst behaved thing that she's ever done. Like, I, I've never seen her do this. Oh, she's crying. No, that's Ruby. Oh, that's Ruby. Ruby's like, let me out! She doesn't have to go in. You want me to lift up the couch? Now take her outside. Don't put her in the crate because then she'll figure out that she needs to... You don't want her to think that every single time she... You call her. Ooh, what a devil! starting the bad stuff is starting it's true that we let her sleep under there it's cool under there and it's her favorite spot to sleep but she does play all day long like she's such a good puppy okay so sam got our bikes ready i don't even know if these are our bikes these are our old bikes this is definitely my bike years ago i used to put our chihuahuas in this little basket isn't that so cute i used to put a blanket and i used to ride down our little road with the with chihuahuas in there all right, so Sophie's bike had a chain problem, so she's going to have that little win. Sam pumped our tires. He didn't pump these tires. Are they low? The tires low? No, they're good. Sophie's on the vengeance machine. Let's see if you can ride it. So you think you were right? Mm -hmm. Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm -hmm. Will knock you down. You know there's a motion between us. Don't go cry about it. Don't go cry about it. You want me to take you in my trust. Oh, you know that ain't the way. So the cows are watching us at the cow farm and this cow farm is now for sale. Maybe this is going to be our next home. You never know. Yeah, it's going to... Yeah, got nothing for us good here, huh? 100 acres is nice. All right, are we ready to roll? 
What? Yeah, we're going down further. How are you feeling, Sophie? You ready to go? But we're gonna do it. Way up in the clouds. The world you will knock you down. You know there's a motion between us. Don't go cry about it. Don't go cry about it. You want me to take you in my trust. turning back so I like this property because it's got a nice dirt road all the way yeah my legs are aching Gabby and I both have exercise induced asthma all right we're halfway home we're doing good I'm doing good how you doing Sophie how you doing? Okay. How you doing? Good. All right. Okay. It's better than bad. Can I put music on? Yeah. Take my bike. <laughs> I can't walk. <laughs> my legs are actually feeling good by everything else. Are you ready for food? Yeah. Me too. That was way worse than you riding a horse. I'm red, are you I'm red? red? Yeah, we and burn, it was so cold. <sighs> I feel like some other horse came in here in the night and pooped. There's no way there was that much poop from two little ponies. Horses are freaked out because Sam is weed whacking around the property. Right, don't even. Oh, it's so feel good. <laughs> we do not get chocolate, but we have bacon and eggs. Okay, Yay. good. Yeah, I just want bacon. Last night I talked to Fiona about Finn and Sophie because she's struggling with confidence. Most of the girls that still are getting to ride because they have horses from our barn are struggling with confidence issues. Horses are all getting out of whack, bolting, bucking, rearing. Like all of our friends are having problems with their horses. Ew. So anyways, I had a big conversation with Fiona last night and what she said is that we're going to lunge Finn every day until he's exhausted. Okay. Not crazy lunging, just lunge him normal, and she wants extra you to do it. Extra energy out. Okay. She wants you to do it. We're not exhausted, extra energy Yeah, out, so we're gonna do it for four days. Could we not do it today? Uh, no, we have to start today. You'll no, be better. Once, today. once you eat, you'll recuperate. You'll feel even you better than ever. Tired. Yeah. Horseback riding, or bicycle riding is, is brutal. I much prefer I like horseback riding. riding. Or jogging. Well, so we're gonna do it for four days, and then we're gonna lunge him two times a day for four days, and then we're gonna go back to one time a day for four days, and see how he feels about who's the boss after that. Okay. Okay. So we have a plan now with Finn, and if we're both on the lunge, let him be. You're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna figure it out. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna work really well for your bond too. All right, let's go up to the house and eat. We can do it. Sam is home today. It makes it feel like a weekend. Uh, Gabby's just finishing up on her schoolwork. I am leaving this frame up that I showed you guys in another video because I want to do some pictures of um, Molly later. Where is Molly? Sleeping right where she's. Oh. She sleeps underneath my computer desk at my feet. I tried to spend some time today while Sam was home um, cleaning the house, doing a few chores inside, and I edited a video for Gabby's channel. I do a lot of the editing for her channel because it's hard. It literally has gone to the point where Ruby gets it ready to go whenever any of us gets ready to go leave the house and nobody even thinks to stop her or say, no, you can't go. Honestly, it's freezing cold out still. Freezing cold. It's gonna be better though. I think Sunday. Sunday will start to feel better. And then we'll be over this. I think this is going to be the last cold spell until summer. That was my plan. But it's still there. How do your legs feel though after riding the bike? Do they feel good or bad? 
right now. Yeah. But how do your legs feel? Good. Good, mine too, actually. Now that our economy is going back, Nick and Jesse, my son and daughter-in-law, are getting to start going back to work. And, and now that they're gonna be starting to go back to work, there are gonna be times when we're gonna be babysitting Jack. All along in Canada, you've been like people, essential workers, um, have had daycare. And luckily for Nick and Jesse, uh, one of them was always able to be home at each time. So now that they're both starting back to work, we're gonna be having Jack more often. So today, we're gonna go get Jack and bring him back. And maybe he'll have his very first real pony ride. You got to give it up, give it up. It's Sophie's turn to feed the boys. Gabby did it this morning. And the girls are waiting too. <laughs> so I'm gonna feed the baby girls, yes. I put a salt lick in, down in here to see if they like it. Our property is, our field is drying up a little. It's for you. That's for you. Sam does chores with the girls on weekends and days that he's home, he comes down with them. I like to sweep because they suck at sweeping. Wow, look at that poop pile. I mean, it's still a mess, but there's a whole empty space. It's huge. Yeah, but I like it better now. It is late now, you guys. It is seven o'clock. Sam just took baby Jack home. I ended, I, it started snowing and the weather got really bad and I didn't want to take him outside. I ended up just putting the camera away and spending time with him. We haven't seen him in a really long time. We got to reintroduce to him and just play with him. He's having a new baby sister soon. Time I would never get back. So I'm glad I took that time for him. But now it's time to bring the horses in. Sam's gone. I'm gonna play music. We'll bring Finn in. Finn's favorite song we're playing. And the horses are ready. They are excited and this is why this is why they get lame. Gabby's been slumming it today. No makeup, no clean hair. You better have a shower tonight. No. Ruby, in. Ruby. <laughs> this is the jail cell. Ruby. <laughs> Ruby, in. In. She's like, no, don't do it to me. You got a partner in crime now, Ruby. Okay, let's go before she starts screaming. Oh, too late. <laughs> too late. Tonight we are running on the right track Yeah, you should not run beside your horse, but there must be horses that like. I ran in front of my horse. You have to run beside your horse if you win an A-rated show. You have no, to. No, Trotta. 
Yeah, try it That's out. first before you show. No, but then so after. The isn't lame. After. And after too. Yeah, if but you win. Before, then after. Yeah, and then after. The so yeah, that was not wrong what we did. It's just that wrong. <laughs> Gabby came up behind me so no, early. I was literally pulling down my pants. I'm just like, nope. All right. We're gonna hold Finn is prancing to the music. <laughs> yeah, Sophie had her music. She's been wearing her music the last couple of days because we've been running or riding. She's got to download it. Yeah, so she's into the music now. Bye. Oh. See you later, Finny. Bye. Are you seriously leaving, Gabby? Bye. Sophie, look at how clean our barn looks, though. I am leaving. I mean, it's not super clean in here, but the floor. If a floor is clean, it looks clean. Don't you guys think that? Oh, oh, I'm cold. Oh. Wait, we have to stay in here until Sylvia goes up. Because she has Ruby. Oh, so we're not taking, we're not leaving Ruby? We're not taking Ruby. So we brought Molly down. We brought Molly down with us to the barn. Yeah. She's so little. I'm seriously so stressed out about the trouble she could get Hi. into. Good girl. Good, girl. Good girl. Molly, down. Oh my God. <laughs> down. Why'd you come back? I don't want to be out there. That's by yourself. Down. Down. She's touch the ground. Roll. No, roll. Roll. Oh! <laughs> I caught my dog so well. Our puppy is like a genius. Gabby did teach her how to Molly. spin. Gabby did teach her how to spin. No, she never taught her how to beg, oh. though. Oh, Molly. Good girl. She's like, I don't know what you want. Roll, roll, roll. roll. No, roll. Too many all at once. Roll, Gabby. Roll. roll, Ruby. Roll, roll. There she goes. Good job. Sit. Our puppy is seriously so smart. Like, so, so, so smart. Oh, the ponies are already done. Did anybody throw hay out for the ponies? Look how clean our feed buckets are. Like, that is a clean feed bucket. This one, too. See that? Licked clean. What's the matter, Gracie? Hey. Molly! I need to tighten my pants. Hey! It's poop! Molly! We don't eat poop around here. No, we don't eat poop in this family, Molly. No, we don't. Look, her ears up kind of up again. Oh, whenever she woke up, it was straight up, and I was like, oh my god! Because the other one's just down, and the other one's up. I don't want her to eat mouse poop either. Hey. Someone suggested that we get a board. Oh! See, it's all written down there. I did not write it, obviously. I can't even understand that writing. Oh, okay, so see, yeah. So that, that's our board, it's got it all written down. Awesome. Ruby just found the mother load of horse poop. Hey Molly, Molly was running. Get it out of her mouth. Is it out? Gabby, we never have to buy dog treats again. You can train her with horse poop. We have a whole pile of it. We'll never run out. She just went crawling in it. Are your feet poopy? Let me see. They're not no, that bad. No, she's good. Her mouth's poopy though. Yeah, no more kisses from you. We should no. tell us who let her, Sophia. You were supposed to be watching. <laughs> No. Yeah, she needs her leash on, Gabby. That's why I said put the leash on. We couldn't catch her. Look at her nose is covered in horse poop. You guys see it? Yuck. No more horse poop, Molly. I don't know how it is good. You want to try it? I think no. It has water. And it wasn't that bad. Water coming out of the hose. Oh. It wasn't that bad, but it tastes different than our water. Yeah, we have a lot. It's, our water is really. Is purified. Yeah, this I water is really water heavy. I've been like ten times. Did you like it? <gasps> no. Look at I can see glowing in your pocket. Oh. Use your flashlight on. Water. Wait, what country does this water come from? Canada. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
What country? Different. What country? Oh, oh, puppy hurt. What country did you think it came from? India. <laughs> but it wasn't brown, so I wouldn't know. Okay, I don't know if that was. Because it goes underneath the ground, though, so it could have come from different places, you know? <laughs> Okay, we need to work on that in school. Gabby usually is the smartest one in the bunch. I joke a lot. I was the smartest I one. I still am the smartest one. <laughs> so he was the smartest one one time. What was it about? The bed mask. Is, yeah, bed mask. Bed mask? Well, yeah, that's down. right. I rule the bed mask throw. I rule the puppy that eats hard food. You did not rule the hot puppy. I saw you running after her. <laughs> So the ponies are out, got their food for the night. It's gonna be cold, but they do come in here and sleep in here and it's a lot warmer in here. Right, Gracie? Who sleep inside, yeah? Good girl. Good girl. I'm closing everything up for the night because it's that cold. So I wanna like, Ugh, the handle broke on here. We put a doorknob on there and it broke. I want to close it. Ugh. I want to close it part way. Ugh. Okay. I want enough room that they can get in, but I want to like block off some of the wind. Can come through, yeah. I just, I don't know if that's good. One of the reasons I feel like our horses are so good with loud noise and running and chaos is because any horse raised by any horse surrounded by a lot of children learn to be desensitized to noise and running and laughter and just all that stuff. Like our challenge that we did the other day, our racing challenge. Our horses did pretty good because they are pretty much desensitized to us running at them. I was scared the fin was making noises. Like the whole time. It's definitely a good thing. <laughs> <laughs>